What's going on guys? So today we're opening a Crate Club box. All right, um, I had a Crate Club a uh, while back, I want to say at least a year, possibly two years. It was kind of cool, just another gear box. I think back then it was a little bit more geared towards tactical stuff. We're going to see what's in this one. Uh, back then it was a viewer who uh, ended up sending it to me. And I also have someone else who wanted to start sending it. I got a message saying, hey, you want to check out Crate Clubs? Yeah, sure. All right. They were very curious to see what I think of them. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea if this is going to be a one-time thing or if it's going to be every month or whatever. Whatever shows up in the mail, if I'm interested, I, I throw the camera on and, and share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what this is all about. So, this is a big old green box on so the front. It says Crate Club across the side. There's our logo, little CC backwards. So anyway, today I have a, a Quartermaster, which I showed in that uh, recent uh, video on the camera. So just going to zip through this tape here. All right, same with the front. Big old piece of brown tape all the way across. Awesome, because my camera's a little closer now. There's that cutting action. Open this bad boy up. See what is inside. So, <laughs> first thing, first things first, I have to move my camera up. Because obviously, we are a little too close here. It's a wide angle camera. Still getting used to things, so let me go ahead and lock it in here. There we go. Move this up a little bit. Okay, now we're doing a little bit better. All right, so I don't know if there's anything. Oh, there's some stuff on the bottom here. I don't know if there's like a card, like a battle box. And I don't think so. There is no no uh, paperwork in here. So I guess we're just gonna start going with it. Actually, let me get the small stuff. Put this on top. All right, so no uh, no paper like, I'm not seeing a reference card or something. So we're just gonna start digging in. The first thing I noticed opening this is our COVID tool, all right, clean key. This is kind of cool. I mean, I've seen these all over the place. Every company's making these, just like every company is making masks and stuff. Uh, I was never really interested in it because in my opinion, you use a tool like this so you don't have to touch things. And what happens, the tool goes right into your pocket. So let's just suppose that you were going to touch that Mac machine to get money out, and now it's on your finger. The dirty disease is on your finger, right? Well, you can wash your fingers. But now it's on the tool. Does it stay on the tool, and you put it in your pocket, and then you go to reach for your tool again in your pocket, and now, now it's on your hand? That's, I mean, that's how I thought would happen, you know, I guess, but I don't know. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe I'll play around with it and actually, you know, use it a little bit. I like, I'm going to keep this forever, by the way. This is never going to be for trade or sale or anything, uh, just because it's going to be a memory. Not that, I need, not that I'm going to forget 2020, uh, but this is just a, a very unique tool that was created out of a necessity, I guess, for, for some people's uh, needs. But anyway, that's the start of this crate club. Put that off to the side. All right. Special edition Dango. Dango products. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, I actually have one of these. So this is a minimalist wallets. And you know what? This is actually going to come in handy. When I got this, I gave this to uh, Christina to use. And she does actually use it. And um, I have a, a little trip to a hotel soon. Um, and I think I'm going to use it there. Just so I don't have to bring all my other stuff. Because you know I carry a fat old wallet. So yeah, if you haven't seen this in another video. I don't know if it's the exact same model. It has a little lantern with it, which is kind of cool. But yeah, just a minimalist wallet, a rubber strap here, obviously you can carry some cards, some cash. This one I think is definitely different. I think the other one had maybe titanium on it or something. This is cool though, this has just like, I don't know, some kind of fabric. Give you some, some detail here. Alright. Almost, almost feels like a denim, like a black denim. Pretty cool. But yeah, it's a lanyard. So let's look at this uh, card. Oh, there's a little coupon code here. Five dollars off. Uh, well, there you go. There's the code. Couldn't be easier if I put my hand. There we go. So yeah, if you want to buy direct. So let's see. Whoop! I did have it straight the first time. So this is also considered a multi-tool. Am I missing something? Maybe that's another model. I think I did this with the last one. I did the exact same thing with the last one. I was like, wait a minute. They're showing, I guess, uh, a bunch of different versions of the same thing. 
So let me hold this card up here. You guys can read what I was reading. And there you go. So this looks like this might just be a basic version of that. But people like their minimalist wallets. If you have a Dango minimalist wallet, let everyone know down in the comment section what you think of yours. But I am soon going to carry it. So moving on, we have a Leatherman here. Leatherman product. The Skeletal CX. This is a great multi-tool. I actually have one of these as well. Let's grab our knife, our quartermaster. Right, zip in there real quick. We're going to take this out and give you a quick uh, peek of it. In case you haven't seen it before. All right. A nice uh, sheath as well. So yeah. So we have a built-in uh, carabiner clip. You clip that right to your, uh, your pocket. All right, we have our knife blade accessible from the outside. Very cool, very simple, easy. All right, obviously we have our multi-tool main pliers. Here's a little close-up. You haven't seen this before. It also has the uh, bits on here. All right, so you push there to lift the end there and swap it. So we have two sizes of our Phillips. All right, and then also in the handle, there's a smaller bit right here on this side. So you kind of push that with your fingernail. We have our large and small uh, flathead as well. All right, so two different uh, bit options. But yeah, the uh, Skeletal CX, very cool multi-tool. I do want to show the sheath here because it's worth uh, mentioning. It's just really, really nice quality. <clears throat> Super thick nylon. All right, we have a little strap in the back. All right, it's not Velcro or anything, so you just have to fish this through the uh, the belt. All right, there's your attachment point, but I like the, uh, the button snap on the front too. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of a uh, shotgun shell or something. But yeah, really nice quality sheath that comes with that. All right, so moving on. What is in here? Dig this out. This is a little bit harder without the uh, reference sheet. Um, so yeah, we got a little uh, Crate Club logo with the snake. I have no idea what this is. This is something that's all rolled up. Go ahead and get it out. Figure this out. Oh, okay, that's our straps. Actually, I want to say I've seen this before as well. This is connected. This might be either a hammock or a bivy. There's our cordage. So, so we got cordage. We have our straps. This is a hammock. I'm like 99% sure. <laughs> we have uh, our carabiners on both sides. All right. Obviously, this would stretch out. Looks like there's even a bug net in there. So yeah, I'm gonna put this off the side and say that is more than likely what it is. <laughs> of course, you can reference the uh, the website. But yeah, I I'm pretty sure like I'm seeing a couple things that are in uh, battle boxes, a crossover. But there's stuff in here that I don't think. Well, we're gonna have to keep going, but I don't think battle box has. So yeah, all right, let's get, let's go with this Gerber, just because this is uh, sitting right here, and you guys are looking at it. Should we peek? No, let's not peek. All right, fine. This is the Ghost Strike Fixed Blade. I actually have one of these. Let's see if that focuses for you. Boom, there it is. All right, took a second. The Ghost Strike Fixed Blade is actually super cool. I like the sheath system on this. I carry this uh, next style as well, even though it's fairly large. You guys know I don't have too many limitations as far as neck carry. But yeah, this has a pretty cool retention system. It is super lightweight as well. So you can see we have the wings here for belt carry, if you want to throw that in the belt. Uh, what I did obviously was remove that and I used these two pieces here, or two holes there for uh, neck carry. But uh, when you're pulling this out, if you look, there's like two tabs here and they just they just separate, all right, to remove pressure. So let me just push, push on there. There we go. And what's really cool about this is the fact that it goes in in either direction because it is like an ambidextrous uh, style there. All right, so those two little tabs are just grabbing on these two indentations so you see on both sides. That's what retains it. All right, these little cutouts there. So really simple. But it is nice, especially if you're, you know, carrying the scout style or something. Um, you don't have to worry about the orientation. You know, you just, especially in, in different places where you're not easily accessing it. All right, so you can't really see which direction the blade goes. I like that. I like, uh, you know, reversible sheaths, you know, essentially is what it is. So doesn't matter if you're putting it in that way, you can flip it around, put it the other way, it snaps in totally fine. Awesome retention on these. Like I said, I'm familiar with this particular knife, I already had one. 
The one I have I got traded a while back, and I don't have the wings here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, looking at the knife, super thin, super lightweight, all right, just kind of a um, one piece, obviously it's full tang, and then the handle part skeletonized and rubberized, all right, so it's very, very comfortable in the hand. I forget the steel offhand on this one, I know it's not, you know, an amazing steel or anything like that, mine actually dulled out fairly quickly, uh, but it's easy to maintain and sharpen that up. Yeah, pretty cool. Maine, Portland, Oregon, right here in America. So yeah, there's that. Put that off to the side. All right, so moving down the line here, we have the Olights PL Mini 2. I'm kind of laughing because this is awesome. This is really, really cool. I actually already have one of these as well. This is the box of gear that I have, which is which is all awesome. It's all great stuff. Um, this one is a little weapons light, um, magnetic charging. Let me pop it open here and show you real quick. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have this on my Glock 19, which I conveniently take off when I need to carry. But when I'm home, uh, I'm not going to say exactly where I keep that, but it's somewhere that's accessible with the light. So there's, of course, your magnetic charging, which is on the bottom. USB, really, really simple. All right, very small. It's adjustable on the rail. All right, so you can move this forward and backward. All right, depending on what position you want it close to the trigger guard. Obviously, people have different size hands, so like once you put this on the rail of your gun, um, you know this uh, these buttons on the so well, not buttons or switches, I guess. You have to push them down and turn them on. So like you know, I'm trying to <laughs> give you the position here. You don't obviously want it so far that you have to change your grip. You want your shooting grip. You want it close. All right, so that when you're um, holding the gun, you can just tap down on that to turn them on. All right, very, very cool, very bright. It's absolutely awesome if you push and hold down. All right, it's just momentary, you let go, it shuts off, but a quick tap on either side. If you notice, there's two wings here, so left or right-handed. All right, both work exactly the same. Very, very cool weapons light. Highly, highly recommend these. Um, this is all awesome, awesome gear. I do, I know you guys are looking at this Bastion box. Let's put that there. We're going to end with that. But first, we're going to see what this is. Looks like a backpack. Like a rucksack type bag. Oh, I've actually got one of these in a metal box before. This is very cool. So this is branded with the Crate Club branding on here. Again, we have the snake with the CC in there. Um, but yeah, I, you've probably seen this if you watch my battle box videos. This is a bag and it has a curved frame so it keeps your bag off your back, okay? And then of course we have move this stuff here. This is an awesome bag, by the way. It's very, very comfortable, even for me. I'm a big dude, obviously, if you've seen me before. And uh, this bag actually fits me quite well. But this netting, if you look on the side, if I move all these straps and everything, you can see that the frame is curved. So again, it's keeping it off your back, all right? So your back stays nice and cool. It's breathable material. It's actually very, very comfortable. So let's see, we're gonna end with this uh, this bastion here. Actually, let's use our, our ghost strike to cut this. Very nice, very convenient. And we're ending on a knife, I think. Oh. <laughs> that was not revealing. Let's try that again. We have, ooh, I don't have this one. I do not have this one. I don't even know what model this is. It looks, it looks like the Brazza, but with an insert. Do they even, I don't even know they made this one. Ooh, this one's really, really cool. All right, so first off, looks like, I'm, I'm thinking stainless steel frame lock, all right, D2. You pick up on that already. Uh, and the front scale is like a, I want to say a Grage G10, which I'm totally digging with a carbon fiber insert. That is really cool. Oh, wow. It's, it's heavy. It's definitely heavier. That is awesome. All right, well, I got to wipe down the blade. Got some oil on there for the D2. This is really exciting. I love the Brazza. And I've never seen this version of it. All right. That is really, really neat. Super comfortable knife. Um, I'm assuming, I'd have to check myself, but I'm assuming this is going to be more affordable because of the stainless steel instead of titanium and D2 instead of the S35VN. Um, really cool. Smooth flipper. I think it looks nice. Ergos are good. That's what's always important. Again, I mean, I total guess four and a half ounces maybe. Again, I, I'm 
fairly certain that's stainless steel in the back there because uh, it is contributing to a little bit more weight. But really, really cool. That is a nice ending to this crate club. So thank you so much to the person out there who sent this. I uh, really appreciate it. It's just really very generous of you. Uh, a lot of people send me different things to try out on camera. It's maybe something that they were interested in, but, you know, they, I don't know, didn't want to get themselves. They wanted me to try it. Uh, for whatever reasons, I really do appreciate it. Uh, not only does it obviously give more content, but allows me to try tons more gear. In this particular case, this is new. I'm pretty sure that I've used, well, of course, the tool. Let me go back to that, uh, you know, pandemic tool. I've uh, never had one of these. So this is a new experience on both of these. The other stuff is really cool. Overall, it's really cool. It's very similar to a battle box, but the gear is a little bit different. Obviously, we see some crossovers there. So that pretty much covers it, guys. Uh, these are the two, two things I don't think I've used before. Everything else is awesome, solid gear, uh, except for that wallet I haven't used, um, even though I had one before. Uh, Christina does use it and like it sometimes. Uh, generally speaking, she has her own, you know, different bags and different purses and wallets and stuff like that. But when we're just going out for the day and she just want to bring her bag or if we're doing a short trip, that's what she grabs that. Very simple, debit card, credit card, a little bit of cash, and you're good to go. But, yeah, I mean, overall, it's a very similar experience to a battle box. Uh, awesome gear in here. I'm a little disappointed that there was no card. I'm assuming, I have to check out the website. Um, maybe the website has the breakdown, you know, for, for each month. Um... But yeah, I mean, that, that in, in a battle box, I, I do actually reference that card quite a bit. Like, for example, the what I'm assuming is a hammock. I'm pretty sure it's still a hammock. Um, I would have not opened it because it's a pain to put it back together. It's not a huge deal or anything. Uh, and it gives me an opportunity to obviously show you. But I do like the reference card. I do like that. But anyway, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Again, feedback on the quality of the video because I'm using a new camera. It should be in 4K. And everything should be uh, a nice little upgrade. So that's all for today. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.